Hey guys, I am coming to you with a really exciting collaboration today. I have collabed with Robin from Robin's Cup of Tea. She is an amazing YouTuber, she is a good friend, and she's just so much fun to watch. So we decided that we wanted to do a collab together, and we were like going through a bunch of ideas and trying to figure out what we wanted to do, and we settled on a $15 look challenge. So what we did is we both spent $15 on the other person and sent them out a package of makeup. We decided that we would have our face done already. So I have my foundation on, I have my brows done, concealer, that kind of thing. So what I'm expecting to be in this box is basically color products for the eyes, cheeks, and lips. And that's what I sent to Robin as well. I'm so excited to watch her video because I picked out things that I think she will really love and will look gorgeous on her. And I am sure she took the same care with this and I cannot wait to break into it. Oh my gosh, I had such a busy day yesterday. This came in the mail yesterday and it was all I could do to not open it. To have to wait today, till today was like waiting for Christmas morning. I had a hard time sleeping last night. So I am so excited to open this right now. Um, so let's get to it. So much fun. I absolutely love getting mail. Remember when you used to get letters in the mail? I mean, you still get like greeting cards and that kind of thing, but remember when your friends used to send you like handwritten letters? So nice. But I have to admit, a package of makeup is even nicer. Okay, so she says, read first. Oh my gosh, there's like an instruction manual. I'm so excited. She basically writes that she really hopes I'll like the product. She hopes that they're cruelty free because we're trying to go that route with the exchange. And I'm so excited to see her video, but so excited to look at what's in this box. Yay. Okay. So exciting. All right. Nicely protected. Got the bubble wrap. Okay. Oh my gosh. I feel like made it. This has to be the lip product, and I'm opening it first right now. Ooh. It is the Essence Lipstick in Wear Berries. She talks about this shade so much. It's such a pretty one. Look at that color. Okay, we're putting it on right now because that's how this is going to go. Basically, our challenge to each other is to create a look out of the products that we got for each other. So my entire color look for my face is going to be just these products. I will throw on mascara that I already have. We agreed that mascara was not part of the equation, but we're going lips first with wear berries. Oh my gosh, this, this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous and it totally matches my outfit today. You see these little beaded earrings I have on? Let's see what else there is. This is so light Christmas morning. Oh my gosh, how does this thing work? Okay. There's two things in here. What are they? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. It's a matte blush from Makeup Revolution. <laughs> and it's the shade Divine, which is a like cool pink. And she knows me so well. Cool pink is my favorite shade of blush. I totally got her a Makeup Revolution blush as well. That is so funny. I'm sure she's going to open hers and have a laugh as well. I can't wait to watch. Oh my gosh, can I open this? Look at this color. I can't wait to put this on. These are so my colors. Okay. Look at how it says revolution printed in that. I didn't realize that. This color. Okay. Stop saying this color and put it on your face. That is gorgeous. Oh, and it blends so well. This is not like a streaky product. Sometimes when blushes are like too pigmented or I don't know what it is that makes them streaky, but they can get kind of streaky or patchy looking. 
This is such a soft powder. Look at the color there. That it just looks, it looks really natural, doesn't it? I feel like the soft pink color on anyone's skin tone just looks like, like you've been outside in the cold. Like it's that kind of flush of pink. It's so pretty. Thank you, Robin. Yay. Okay, so my lips and my cheeks are totally coordinating. Totally coordinating, which is exciting. What is this? Oh, it's a highlight. Yeah. Okay. So this is the product. Again, it's from Wet n Wild, and it's called Where the Dreamers Go. And it's like a highlight mosaic. I am so intrigued. Let's see how this looks. I feel like there's like there's blue in here. What is that going to do? I feel like it's going to be a cool toned highlight because of that. That's so intriguing. Okay, let's try it. It's a really subtle highlight. This is pretty. I feel like I could put this all over my face because it's subtle. This reminds me of like the, um, I don't own these because they're hella expensive, but the like hourglass ambient lighting powders, like they highlight without being shimmery or sparkly, if that makes sense. I'm going to put this all over my face. I don't know if that's what it's meant for, but that is what it is inspiring me to do. So this puppy is going to highlight the high points of my face. What I feel like it's doing, oh yeah, is just, it's brightening. This is like a brightening powder. So I was kind of expecting like a shimmer highlight and then I, because I look at it and there is some shimmer in it, but as I applied it to my cheeks, I could see that it's, it's just like super brightening. This is like a wake you up and make you look alive powder. And let me tell you, I need some of that in my life. I need to look alive. That is pretty. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I could set my under eyes with this. I'm going to end up with too much product on my face, aren't I? That's okay. Yes, you can totally set your under eyes with this. It's so soft and finely milled. How does Wet n Wild do this with their like incredibly soft, beautiful powder products? It, it, for affordable prices, I can't even quite handle it. Okay, so last, oh my gosh, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of guessing already what this is, and I hope I'm right. Yes! I knew that Robin would get me this, because every time she uses this palette on her channel, this is the Petal Pusher palette, I comment that I don't have it and I need to get it. And you know what? They stopped carrying it at my Target for some reason. So I need, I was like planning to check my um, Walgreens and CVS. I did a CVS stop the other day for some Milani lip colors and they didn't have Wet n Wild. So I was feeling sad, but look, this is so pretty. I'm so excited to do an eye look with this. Oh my gosh. And these are so my colors. I feel like Robin is my like honorary sister, seriously. Like this right here, this palette of colors, this is me. She knows me, she's speaking to my soul. <sighs> Robin, well done, well freaking done. And perfect skin while you're at it, highlight that shit, make you look good. Yes, please, okay. I'm excited. All right, let's do an eye look with this palette. There's so many choices, I don't even know where to start. Okay, let me grab some brushes. I need a crease brush. I'm gonna get one for like uh, the outer V and one for just laying down color and just like a straight up clean one for blending. So I have some brushes. Let me look into this. Okay, open. Don't take forever to open. I'm too excited. Okay, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I don't even know where to start. It's so pretty. Okay, I know where to start. Okay, I'm gonna take a large brush and I'm gonna take the shade called Brow Bone and it's like a almost white light lilac shade. And I'm just going to actually wait. Let me put on some eye primer first just because 
I know my eyes and they work better with primer. So I'm just taking a squirt of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm going to put that on my lids first. Yes, because I want this to last all day. So, I've got the lips, I've got the cheeks, I love that pink, I love how cool toned everything is, I feel like it's perfect. So I'm going to top it off with some mascara, I'm going to send a selfie out to Robin so she can see how my look turned out, and you guys, this was so much fun, I love that we did this. Now she sent me one letter that said read after opening so I'm going to put my mascara on and then I'm going to take a look at what she said and then we'll wrap things up. Okay so here's how it boils down. This is Robin's breakdown of how she met the $15 challenge. So she got the Petal Pusher palette for $4.99. So excited. I don't want to pick favorites but this has to be my favorite thing. I'm so happy that Robin remembered that I always comment on wanting this palette and that I don't have it yet. So love this. Um, so that's $4.99. And then the Where the Dreamers Go, she said this is her latest highlighter obsession. I can see why. It's totally, especially if you have fairer skin, it's brightening. Like how does it do that? How does it do that? It's so good. So I'm excited about this. I don't know, <laughs> I'm kind of afraid like if I open my blinds that I'm just gonna have glitter all over my face because she says this is completely unsophisticated and glittery, but that's what makes it so good. Um, and I basically put this on my entire face. So, okay, okay, disco ball day. I'm fine with that, this is gorgeous. And that was $2.49, she had a BOGO. So that one was like a deal. And then the Makeup Revolution blush, she said, this is so funny. I had never seen these at my Ulta before, so I've never tried them. A bit risky, I know, but they've always looked beautiful in swatches, and this is a $5 one. So funny. I've been thinking the same thing. The colors are beautiful, and they just, they look like they'd be nice. And so I bought her one as well. I can't wait to see her reaction when she opens it. Um, but this color, perfection. Thank you, Robin. And then lastly, she says, Essence Lipstick. This is what I'm most afraid you might already have, mainly because I think it would look amazing on you. I have to be honest, I do already own the shade Wearberries. Sorry, Robin. Uh, because you're right, this is the one that like calls out to me of all of the shades that they have is Wearberries. And all this means, Robin, is that now I have one for my vanity and I have one for my purse. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there? No. So the total amount is $15.47. She says, yep, I cheated and went over by 47 cents. I had a cheaper highlighter at first, but I really wanted you to have this one. Screw it. Which is totally Robin. Totally her voice. I can hear her saying that. Thank you so much, Robin. This was crazy fun, and I'm excited to do more collabs with you. If you guys have any ideas of collabs that Robin and I should do, leave us some suggestions down below. Um, I love doing fun makeup tags, and I just think it would be fun to do more collabs with Robin because she's amazing. Um, I love the look. I honestly will wear all of these products all the time. This is going directly in my purse, and I'm not going to be able to put the Petal Pushers palette down for sure. I'm sure that you go over and you check out Robin's channel so you can see what I got her and how she pulls together a look with those things. The link will be down below of her video and her channel. Definitely check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye. I'm so excited to have this. I can't even tell you. Thank you, Robin. Oh, this is pretty. Love the quality of these wet and wild powders. How do they do it? How do they do it? Look at how much brighter that is. Ugh. Robin mentioned once in a video though that it's kind of hilarious how they label some of these shades. Like I'm not probably going to put like an ultra like blackened burgundy in my crease but this is labeled crease color like that's more of a definer outer v kind of shade to me you know what i mean so the way that they label them sometimes is completely hilarious but you know 
we can break the rules. We can do whatever we want with our eyeshadows. So I just set down that lightest powder as like a base. And now I'm going to go in with this one, the light lilac, and I'm going to buff that into my crease. See, breaking the rules. It says eyelid. I'm going crease. I love pale purple. Love it. So this is so exciting. I don't know how I didn't own this palette, and I'm so glad that I do now. And I really hope they're not discontinuing it from the stores. Like I said, my Target just has those longer ones now that I haven't heard as many good things about, um, rather than this one. And I don't get it, because these are like, there are certain products that brands make that they should never stop making. You know what I mean? This is one of them. All right, and then I'm going to go the shade lower than that which is just a bit smokier purple. And I'm gonna build that up in the crease as well. Yes. I can't believe we got each other the same brand of blush. At least we didn't get the exact same shade, but I think that, I think that we both totally picked colors that suits the other skin tone. At least I hope so. I can't wait to see how Robin's look turns out with the stuff that I got her, but so exciting. You definitely have to go over to her channel and watch her video. Of course, it will be linked below and all that good stuff because you need to see. I want you to see what I bought her and I want you to see how gorgeous those things are going to look on her. I have to pat myself on the back. I think I did a pretty good job. And seriously, Robin did such a good job. Look at how smooth that blend is. We're talking wet and wild eyeshadow. I just, can I kiss it? No, no. I'm just gonna keep using it. This is so pretty. So, so far I've used these three colors and they're all matte. I'm gonna play around with some of the shimmers though too. I just want to kind of build up my crease a little bit with these matte shades. How nice is it that this palette has three super workable matte shades in it? Like you can get high-end palettes that don't have that many incredible matte shades. I'm so excited, okay. What do I want to do next? Oh my gosh, where do I want to go with this? You know what I think I need to do? I think I need a little bit of this in my life because of the outfit that I'm wearing, this like burgundy red color. Yes, yes, I need a different brush. I need like a flat shader brush. Okay, so we're gonna take this one labeled eyelid and we're gonna, we're gonna follow the directions this time around. Do some eyelid action up in here. This melds so well. It looks so much warmer than the other side, but really melds really well with those cool purples. And it's just putting like a smidgen of shimmer onto the lid, which is good. So pretty. Total fan. Look at that color. I know I keep saying look at it, but you don't know how long I've wanted this palette. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to take some um, setting spray and I'm going to take the shimmer shade. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Okay, I'm going to take the shimmer shade up here, the brow bone one, and I want to put that on the center of my lid, but I want it to be like intense. And these powders are so soft. Um, these I'm not finding are as muddy as my uh, Comfort Zone palette. I love those shadows and I love the colors, but I've talked about before how when I put like more than one or two colors together in a look from the Comfort Zone palette, they kind of get muddy. And so I don't, I don't think that would happen with 
this shade in particular, and they haven't happened with these three. Like, I feel like I can see those individual colors, which is gorgeous. But I want this to stand out, and because the shadows are so soft, I don't want it to just blend into the layer below it. So I've added some of that light shade to this brush, and I'm just going to give it a spritz. And I'm going to pack it in the center. Yes. Can you see that? Ah? Uh? Okay. My excitement level. It's up there. Other eye. This eye look is beautiful. This eye look is beautiful. Okay, so I usually like to wear liner and I didn't get a liner from Robin, which is fine because I got eight eyeshadows. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to use the some of these definer shades as the eyeliner. So I'm going to do that with, oh, let's see. What kind of brush do I want to use? I feel like I don't have a good liner brush, really, of all these brushes. For shame. Okay, so I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk brush, and it is the number three, and it's like a little pencil brush, so I'm going to do like a smudgy lined look on the upper and lower lash line. What shade do I want, though? I think I'm going to go in with like the darkest one to emulate liner as much as possible. This is a black with silver shimmer in it. Very exciting. Okay. That's so pretty. I have the tiniest like flick on the edge, which I think just defines my eye shape a little bit. Okay, I officially like this one better than Comfort Zone. And trust me, I love Comfort Zone. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But these colors, these colors. Look at this. I feel like I'm using high-end shadows. I, I feel like I'm using high-end shadows. A little bit on the lower. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to take just like a blending brush and I'm going to smoke out that lower area a little bit. I don't want it to look like I just drew it on and left it there. I want it to be nice and soft. And then I was going to do more blending up in the crease with a bare brush, but I don't actually think I need to. I feel like that blended so nicely. I'm really impressed. Okay.